Okay, uh, what is it, January 5th. Got down here to my uh, water pump set up and I got a sense that one of the pumps hasn't been running for a while. Uh, a little bit more ice than normal, even though it's, you know, got about five below last night. Actually, nine below. It's about 20 below wind chill. So, you know, let me show you what I got here. This is some of the, the woes here of uh, trying to do this. You get down here. So that pump, I got it running. And I thought it was a frozen line. Or the pump could be bad. And the pump's way out there on the ice. So what I did, before I started chipping through all that ice and trying to rewire another pump, there's some type of sparrow down there, uh, came over here and I go, well, it's a long shot. These timers usually don't go bad. Uh, there's a special 12 volt DC timer and you gotta get timers that are rated for cold weather. You just buy the cheap ones out of the Radio Shack catalog, they ain't gonna work. Uh, so I did a jumper wire here, brought my test light down here, and I was getting power at the one terminal, but when I turned down the switch, there wasn't any power across switch. So I did a jumper wire to the battery here, and lo and behold, I got power. So I've got a bad timer. I'm gonna have to go and uh, run over luckily I have another one of these timers so gonna be a lot of fun out here wiring this thing um, and this temperatures but uh, you know what not doing a whole lot of other stuff in this cold weather except uh, coming here every day feeding cattle uh, this winter I got all my cattle at one farm got my feeder cattle and uh, the calves are here, the mama cows. Usually got them spread out around three different farms. So, you know, if you look at this setup here, I know there's a really good video that my dad posted. My sister videoed. Uh, if you want to look up me talking in depth about this system, there's uh, another video called Solar Cattle Watering. Uh, but what I would do. That's a lot of stress if these pumps don't work right. I think next summer I want to come right here, dig a deep well with the backhoe straight down, six or seven feet, run, you know, some four inch PVC or something about six feet underground, coming deep out of the bank, out into the water. And then in the well here, right up on shore is have my pumps so they're easily serviceable. Uh, again, these are just cheap. 12 volt bilge pumps nothing special so uh yeah so i'm gonna go grab another timer wire that in and hopefully it fixes this problem it'd be a quick easy fix all right we pull into the uh farm here got another timer that i took off of a watering setup uh, and another piece of pasture and our 30 acres that I grazed during the summer. So I shut that water system down. fence chargers for the summertime 12 volt stuff extra water pump this is the water pump you're using right there and here's the other timer brand new Okay, so here I am with the new timer. Uh, this is a deal timer. Uh, brand new one. I did use it one summer. Again, a different pasture. So you program it. It's got, it'll turn on and off. It'll turn on six or eight times uh, 
in a 24 hour period. So eight on, eight off. So I programmed it strategically. Uh, to run mostly during the day, it's gonna start pumping at about four in the morning, about 15 minutes at a time. Mostly run it during the day in this cold weather. You got sun out here today, so yeah, a day like this, it's pretty much not gonna use any batteries. Those pumps are really gonna run off those solar panels. Got 750 watts of panels. So let's uh, let me head on down to the lake and get this new thing on. Okay, this is where the fun starts. This is where I can get some cold hands. It's already starting to ice up right now. All right, hopefully, just switch these wires and uh, be back in business. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, I'd walk back to the truck to warm up. Um, I was wondering if I had a couple of these type of hook connectors for 12 gauge wire and, and 10 gauge wire, and actually I do. So warming up for a minute, getting quite a bit of wind right now. So getting nasty out there. All right, I think I'm warm enough now. I'm gonna head back down and finish this job up. Okay, this is fun, crimping all this crap, stripping wires while it's uh, cold as hell out. Walk up here and see if we got water. I can hear it running right now. Oh yeah, okay. I got both pumps running now. You need both pumps and one stops running. So if, if I run out of water, I'm screwed. I guess I'd have to start chopping holes in that ice. Be here a couple times a day to do that. Um, but uh, next thing I gotta do is just uh, go get the uh, mini impact and see if I can mount this to that wood post. So take that one off. See if I can get these screws out of here. Luckily, this is a red oak post. If I use black locust post, you never get those screws out. I can tell you that right now. That's some hard wood. So let me uh, let me go get my uh, impact. And let's try to finish this job up. Okay, one last thing I got to do before I wrap this project up. Oh, there you go. So you got both pumps running now. They're tag teaming it. That's a good sign. Uh, couldn't get that old box out of there. Could not get the screws, wood screws, come out of that. So, I got my handy dandy Dewalt cordless uh, angle grinder. I'll tell you what, this one, this tool comes in handy. You wouldn't believe all the things I use this for. It's in my truck all the time. So,. I even sharpen, I sharpen my disc mower blades with it when I'm cutting hay. So let me see if I can get back behind there. These wires out of the way. Let me see if I can get that. Come on, man. Get over here. Let me see if I can do this without cutting some wires. Great more of a project. Didn't know one to do that before. Okay, got that off. I'm just, I don't trust myself. Let me see if everything's still running. You never know, you get pretty crazy with this angle grinder. All right, so that warm water coming in from the lake minimizes ice formation. I'll come back here tomorrow morning and yeah, it'll probably be an inch ice here. So. Well, thanks for watching. I'm sure there's thousands of guys just like me and women out there having problems with their livestock watering right now. 
a lot of people probably got frozen water hydrants and water lines and and you name it so you know it gets this cold i mean most of the u.s now is gripped in some cold weather and um so just uh just stay warm and uh this gives me peace of mind now i can go home now go to bed tonight pretty confident i got water running for quite a while talk to you guys later